y'all are back with another video and this video is girl talk with my friend simone hey y'all do yourself okay y'all friends are on the baddest you know <laughs> that's how y'all should know me i just i'm just playing i'm just playing i ain't about a friend and we've been friends for a very long time mm -hmm. a very long already. time yes we just want to have a little talk with y'all and stuff you know let y'all know a couple things yeah <laughs> There's not too much y'all that you know. It ain't nothing. Y'all find out later on. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah let's go ahead and get straight into the video, y'all. So, it's 15 topics. Okay. So, the first topic is virtual versus face-to-face -face school. So, y'all know that I'm virtual and Simone does do face-to-face. -face, so, we're just going to tell y'all, like, our experiences, you know, doing virtual and face-to-face. -face. So, I guess I'll go first. So, mm -hmm. being a virtual student, it's very easy for me. You know, I'm always on top of my word. I don't... I'm never late with anything because y'all know I work proactively i don't like being behind none of that stuff so you know virtual school is really good for me i know it's bad for some people because you know they work better in person but virtual school is pretty good i definitely recommend it mm, me oh lord no i, I can't <laughs> do it y'all I, I, I don't know i don't know what it is. i try i did try to do virtual but i wasn't really focused when i did it i was like sleeping all the time so it didn't work for me but this year i do do face to face i do do not do, -do. I, I do face to face and it's 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 decent. It ain't that bad. It's just the fights and stuff like that. The kids, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. That's why I don't want to go. Yeah, I can't. I it, it's bad. and then like one person getting fight, y'all all in trouble. Everybody on lockdown, and I ain't. Yeah, no. I gotta go through. It. <laughs> I, 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 see, look. I, go that. I see. I would do that, but I'm scared. Y'all, I might fall asleep and then fail. I can't do it. But I, 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 I don't know. And then the sickness going around. Yeah. And you run all them kids. Um. Mm -mm. It's alright. Yeah, it is. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Face face. It's it's decent. Yeah. Kitty had a lot of programs. Would program. you recommend it though for our school? No. Mm. <laughs> if you was a person that ain't never been in the Darlington Temple for, and you just not going to school, I would not recommend because you gonna you might not like it. You better out doing virtual. <laughs> so yeah, do virtual. Yeah, y'all yeah. should, should do virtual. If do you virtual. can work like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, our next one, y'all, relationship. Oh, I love this. I love this oh topic. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you can go first. No, you go first because she got the man. I ain't got the man. Okay, y'all can go first. <laughs> don't get me started, y'all. Y'all know I'm talking about man all day. Now, relationship, don't rush into anything. It it ain't, it, it's, it's good and all, but it ain't worth rushing into because yeah. it's not like, unless you really love the person, like, you actually like, you know, love, love, love that person. Then yes, you should get in, you should get in a relationship. But I feel like you should also wait. You know, right. don't always jump into stuff so quick and quick to do something. I feel like you should just take your time. You can always get in a relationship. Right. That's it. You can do that anytime. So yeah, just take your time. That's what I think personally. Same thing that she was saying, you know, I had to realize that, you know, it's not such a, a necessity to be in a relationship. It's not something that you need to do. It's just like a, mm -hmm. it's more of a want than a need. So, you know, relationships, being in relationships is good. You know, being in friendships with people is good, but you shouldn't have to like rush into that stuff or force somebody to be with you or anything like that. So yeah, just let it come naturally. Don't yes. force that. Yes, yes. Don't force Please that. don't. Don't force that. I don't think they done that. It is ain't it. <laughs> But I also want to say this though. Right. About these relationships, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta think. Like y'all yeah. be talking to people and y'all be knowing they wrong and y'all will still continue to talk to them. And it's like y'all ain't got no mm. no self respect. Yeah. I say that. Y'all ain't got no self respect. Y'all be knowing what they be doing. Y'all y'all pick the wrong people. Y'all be picking the wrong people. Why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me? I just saying. <laughs> like y'all do but sometimes some Why people be playing? picking wrong people. Like it ain't Mm -mm. No, it ain't gonna always work like that. You gotta be different. You gotta try something new every time. Then going back to your um old, you know, yeah. boyfriend and stuff like that. If it ain't work the first time, it ain't gonna work. I mean, well, maybe a second try, but after that, <laughs> uh uh, just just throw the whole relationship. I feel like they're an ex for a reason. You know? Yeah, pretty much. Next um topic we're gonna talk about is hygiene. Okay, y'all. So what I'm gonna say about hygiene is. Us girls, it's so important for us to be clean because I feel like we smell more than boys do. Like, boys smell too, but like, we gonna mm. smell. If we stink, we don't smell. Like, we gonna smell. Yeah. Yoni. Not, no, not Yoni. Yoni, your, you know, your vagina. Manny. Yeah. That's like, we're really going to smell. So, it's so important to keep your hygiene up, whether it means drinking cranberry juice, taking cranberry um, pills, pills, drinking, you know, smoothies. I definitely recommend smoothies rather than pills, though. Strawberry and banana. 
Ew. Are you on my no. I, I like cranberry juice or mangoes or something like that. Uh -huh. Some like mangoes. Mangoes good. But um, yeah, and you make sure you always clean yourself, especially when you're on your period, because that's when it's gonna smell the yes. worst. And me and someone was just talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it, people like the sugar coat yes. and they like the lie. Yeah. Y'all know y'all know them type of girls that be like. Oh, it's my like scumberry. Like yes, and rainbow. <laughs> oh no, no, ma'am. Everybody had a bad day. Yeah. And you and you have to have a bad day in order to know what you need to use yeah. to like maybe it's like a type it could be a soap so, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it be the social like some ease some eve I don't recommend. I, I can't do it. Maybe dove, dove unscented. Yeah, dove unscented you can never go wrong with dove. Or you can go get checked and they can prescribe you like a specific type of soap yeah. to use, like Doctor Um Doctor Bronis. Yeah. Cause they it's expensive. That's why I don't pay for it. <laughs> I get the bar. I use bar soap personally for yeah. stuff like that. I use bar soap and then body wash for yeah, yeah, and probably Victoria's Secret probably then and there. Oh yeah, oh y'all, and I and I didn't want to get all you know into that, but shaving matters. Yeah, it does. It it matters. Yes. I, I promise you, it, it does. does. And it's also it's uncomfortable to have a lot. If y'all know, what I mean, it's, it's yeah. not comfortable. So yeah. I feel like you shouldn't do it. All the time, because you know that could also give you race once. But yeah, I feel like you should do it. Should be like a balance. Yeah, like yeah. And if you like your hair, you can just trim it. But it's not good to keep a whole bunch of hair on there because that creates odor, odor and yeah. that's where the smelling comes from. So yeah, you should definitely you know trim it. Especially because you got childish little boys that come around. They don't know exactly what we go through. Yeah. So they you could be smelling off for one day and they just like oh she must she smell like a fish right. you know she smell like fish mm -hmm. but they low key don't know what we be going they through. Don't. We go through it bad like. <laughs> Dead bad, but you know that that's just what they don't know. Yeah, keep your hygiene up. Please don't, please, <laughs> please, because I ain't want I ain't want nobody to be talking about y'all. Very embarrassing, and it's a bad rumor. That's yeah. the worst room to have. Yeah, somebody messing with my character, and you know my, my name, my name, my hygiene, my man, <laughs> and my family. Not my, my man. <laughs> throw that part in there, y'all. Y'all know how to do. Oh man, the next topic is learning how to control your attitude. Mhm. Mm she can speak on it. I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I never seen her have an attitude. Simone. I ain't other than what? when we was younger. But now that like she's the good this year. Last yeah. year and this year, uh, she, I, I ain't really cared all with her um attitude. Yeah. I, no, I didn't. So I'm gonna let you speak on that first. Okay, so y'all know me back in my past. You know, I used to do the most, like you know, very, very rebellious. I try to act grown. You know, all that stuff. But I used to have, like, a real, real, like, just bad attitude. Like, it started from, like, when I was little, little, too. Mm -hmm. Like, elementary school. So, you know, having a bad attitude, it didn't get me nowhere. As you can see, it didn't get me nowhere. It just got me to be in more programs. And those programs helped me to, to become who I am today. But having a bad attitude really don't get you nowhere. So, if you have a bad attitude, please take it to the Lord. Yeah, because he's the only one that can fix that that anger, that rage, that malice in you. So, just please take it to God. I, I definitely agree. And with attitudes, I used to have bad attitudes. I still have bad attitudes. Yeah. I don't know why I'm using the word used to. I still have bad attitudes. <laughs> and I'm working on it. So, I can't really say speak too much on that topic. Right. But I know it ain't right. I can tell y'all that. I know it ain't right. Especially when it comes to your parents and... Right. You know, your elders and stuff like that. Those are people you really shouldn't disrespect. Right. Which I did have a bad problem with because I be trying to treat them like they my friends sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes y'all get angry to a certain point. You be like, da -da -da -da. But, yeah. you know, you can't do that because, you know. But it be hard, y'all. And I'm still learning. So, I told you, she speak on that because yeah. I still do that to this day. But it's getting better. But what we love about Simone is that she honest and she admits when she wrong. Yeah. That's what we love about Simone. So, yeah. you know. Yes. That's why, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, I ain't got no problem saying that what I done yeah. did back in there, what I still do, because I'm not ashamed. What you do? I'm human. <laughs> hey, grandma. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not ashamed. I mean, it happened. It happens. I know I'm not the only one. Yeah. So, yeah. I even struggle sometimes, so. I ain't all perfect, y'all. I'm not. Next one is don't give up. So, many times in life, you know, we just want to give up. We don't want to. We don't want to persevere, like, especially, like, in your faith walk with God. It could be, like, um, pursuing an entrepreneurship. It could be doing hair, you know. Sometimes those small beginnings, you just feel like they ain't going to never grow. But those are the times where you don't need to give up because small beginnings are so important. They mm -hmm. really are. So whatever you do in life, please do not give up, okay? Yes. Do not give yes. up. I I definitely agree. I said that like three <laughs> thousand times. I know y'all thought they didn't read that. Yeah, I do. I do agree though, because I feel like, especially when it comes to like stuff that you want to do, like yeah. what you want to pursue, like 
when with me with hair, cause sometimes yeah, I do I do hair, but I be messing up, and when I mess up, I be so close to giving up. Yeah, cause you know you doing other people hair, you know with stuff like that, you gotta be able to take criticism. Right. Cause it's hair. Like mm -hmm. it's right. If they think not looking right, they feel like it don't look right. They gonna call you out because they <laughs> paid their money and wasted their time. So yeah, it's real. It's real hard. But I, all I'm saying is don't give up because I seen people come from the bottom yeah. to the top. Like yeah. these artists, they weren't always good at one point. Right. It, it, you know, they was they was bad too at one point. But now they're, you know, they kept trying and now they're there and getting their money up. That's they what I'm are. trying to, do. you know. <laughs> The next topic is cheerful giver. So don't expect to get anything back. Like once you do something for somebody or like, you know, just being nice, being kind, being generous out of your heart. Like do not expect to get everything back every single time because sometimes that's just not how people are. Some people are hateful. Some people will throw it back in your face. Like when they give you certain things. So when you give other people things, don't expect nothing back. Like just do it out of the kindness of your heart. Don't do it because, oh, I did this for them and they mm -hmm. should do this back for me. No, like do it because you want to be a cheerful giver, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. With that, I can say, for okay, so for example, in <clears throat> case some people not might not know exactly what we trying to say, <laughs> like if you if you um lend somebody twenty dollars, well mm -hmm. not really lend because that means you getting it back, but like right. you just get okay. Let's say somebody asks for twenty dollars, mm -hmm. you give it to them. Yeah. Nothing else. It you it ain't no why you need it. Never ask why. Not know why you just give it to them. Right. That's the end of the day. Let's say the next day you need twenty dollars right. and you see them flexing all this money and you asking like, oh can I get twenty dollars? And they be like. I don't know, like, you, you can't really just be like, well, you, you yeah, I gave no. you $20, and I, you can't do that, because it wasn't out of kindness of your heart, if yeah. you really want it back. Right. And sometimes, you know, you might not know why they needed it that, that day, like, what if they, they just got paid or something like that, that's probably why they flitz and all this, but it low-key going to bills, right. and stuff like that, so you don't know what people going through, so, with that, you, just don't do that, because it's going to make you look bad, too. People not going to want to get nothing from you, because they're like, oh, she the type of person that wants something back. Yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't, no, don't ask them out for $20. <laughs> I ain't want nobody to be like that with me, because I'll be, I'll be real upset and hurt. No. But, I mean, you, you can be like, oh, what can I do? Just give them $20. You can't even at least give me $20. You can yeah. feel that way, but don't say it. Like, right. just, let's just sit in your head. Now you know who to give money to, and who not to give money to, but that's, me personally, even if they needed it the next day and I have it, it is no problem. I would have gave it to them. Yeah. But a certain amount. I would never give nobody a lot of amount of money. I, I personally wouldn't do that. Unless they needed it and I had it. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Ooh, my favorite. Friendships. Whoop, whoop. Fake versus real. Whoop, whoop. Oh, Lord, Lord. Lordy. <laughs> Go ahead, Mom. Okay. So, for starting to follow God, you know, it was hard for me to, like, find my friends and stuff like that because I feel like so many people was judging me when I came into Christ. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I, like, I still had friends who wasn't in Christ, but, like, they were, like, they respected the fact that I came into Christ Jesus. Then I had friends that left. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that just distinguished the fake from the real because if you were really my friend, it don't matter if I give my life to Jesus. It don't matter if I'm still, you know, trying to do something else, trying to be better with my life. You will still support me, you know, regardless mm -hmm. of the regardless of the fact you know i still have friends that don't follow god but i don't judge them for that you know they gonna come when they come and if they don't come you know i just pray for them and so distinguishing the real from the fake like you really have to be like careful who you surround yourself by because yes. you it's so crazy you hang around the wrong crowd and don't even no. know it. you don't know and so that's why i just ask for discernment you know because and God will give it to you. God will remove those people. When you pray and when you get down on your knees and pray to God and ask, hey, God, take these people out of my life that's not supposed to be here. He will do just that. And you'll be all sad because you'll be like, oh, my it gosh, I'm hurt. so close with them people. Yeah. yeah it's going to hurt, y'all. <laughs> it's it going to hurt yeah. bad. But it's worth it, though. It is. Because yeah. you don't want those fake people in your life. Because, honestly, they just diminishing you, diminishing you, diminishing you. And you don't even know it. Like, these people could be praying bad over you. You don't yeah. even know it. Saying, hey, and then as soon as they, as soon as they get away from you. Ugh, like just talking bad about you too and that's not two good. other people it could be two your other friends yeah and they don't tell you nothing that's not good and i couldn't i couldn't do it how do you feel about this mom fix 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 all i can say is y'all i done been there done that like so many times and it did hurt my feelings and it got me into a lot of situations me hanging around fake people they got me into so many arguments with girls i ain't even had to know them i i knew like in my heart i i knew my friends was a little messy yeah but it's like i loved them so much that it i didn't like i tried not to see the bad part you know i tried not to see that part yes. but it 
But I knew, I knew, I knew there was a little. Yeah. And yeah, when you yeah. also hang with a bad car, you start to act like them. Yeah. I can, I definitely yes. say that. And it do, it, it gonna hurt to cut them off. And they might say a couple stuff after that, but you gotta put you first. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta put that. <laughs> I'm, I'm put me first every time. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I don't know, but I don't know. I, me right now, I don't feel like I hang around nobody that's fake. Right now, yeah, I don't feel like I hang around nobody that's fake. I mean, and not not that's like it's, you know, constantly like they just they they everybody got their days, you know, they just feel yeah. a little. Yeah, but I, you know, wait, okay, now, well, I got a question for you. Okay. Let's say you got a friend. Mm-hmm. She, she, and y'all been friends for a long, 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 mm -hmm. long time. You find out that she was, somebody came with you and told you that your friend was talking about you. Mm -hmm. And you know that she said it because they talk, they're showing you messages, messages and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How could you handle that situation in the best way possible? <laughs> I mean, I just feel like I'll leave this person alone. Like, I wouldn't even try to retaliate, get back at them because it's not worth it. So I just like leave it alone. I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even test them. Like, hey, you talking about me? You trying to do something? I wouldn't even do that because that's just so worthless. Mm -hmm. So I would just like leave them alone because obviously, you know, obviously you ain't for me, so you against me. And if mm -hmm. you are against me, you gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. I mean, I gotta put me first, like I said, but. <laughs> You know, I don't know. I really, on that, like, I had to make friends so many times. And I'm going to tell you one thing. You do need friends. You kind of do need friends. It is nice to have a friend. Yeah. But do you really need a friend? No, but it would be kind of nice to have somebody that's by your side. Right. And when you want to go places, you know, you got somebody to call and stuff like that. It, it is very nice. And also about the judging and stuff like that. You know, even though I, I do stuff that she don't do mm -hmm. and she do things that I don't do. Right. I, I don't judge her because it's, I mean, it's a, actually a good thing. And I know you negative if you think it's bad, so I shouldn't hang around <laughs> you. And I'm going to tell y'all one thing. I always remember this. Okay. I always remember this. Remember. I just made a post about this, y'all, on Facebook. But all I said was, let me tell y'all something. Nobody has to do nothing to me personally. But if I see how you treat other people and being messy, I'm not going to mess with you. Right. So you don't never have to do anything to me for me to be like, no, like, I don't, I don't like how she carry herself. I'll say that. And it's not because you did something to me. It's because I see how you treat other people and how you carry yourself. Like, people go on Facebook being, you know, cussing and being, yeah, you know, just being extra star and stuff for no reason. Picking on people, kids. Like, they'll post people, children, and just go, like, go in. They never think about if it was them. Yeah. They don't, I, 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 think, I don't think people think before they post. They, they don't. They, they don't. <laughs> I'll, I'll be talking about that all day. <laughs> And I'm trying to, you know, watch my words because, you know, I'm like, dang, it was, I had a couple people back in the day that just he was like kind of fake. But, I mean, I forgive. I forgive them for me. Yeah. Not not for them, but for me. I forgave them. Now, without, they don't even know that I did, but I did. Yeah. I, I hold no hatred in my heart. Mm. Yes, no, it's against anyone. Amen. Yes, yes. Oh, by shot time. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so done with you. This is the one I also chose. TikTok, um, that thing, TikTok thing with parents distracting their kids. Yeah. And like, ooh, y'all, y'all. This all her right here. Yeah, I, I got to talk about this. And then I'll let Yvonne like, say a couple words, whatever she want to say. Now, with this, y'all got to know that y'all parents is not y'all friends. Yeah. And it took me a long time to realize that. Because when you get mad, and you know, they do. Now, sometimes they do be in the wrong. But you can't exactly tell them, like, Oh, you need to be quiet, cause like you, you just blowing me. Yeah. It's sometimes it's either better to listen and not say nothing, or yeah, but if you know you're gonna say something, like, you feel like you really gonna say something that you ain't got no business saying. Walk off. Right. Why the way you say it? Yeah. I mean, cause you know, but everybody parent is different. Yeah. So it's certain stuff you can't deal with. Yeah. Just, just, just don't don't disrespect y'all parents. Them people that gave birth to you, yeah. you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. But just, just, just respect your your parents and your elders, cause. They just trying to help. They trying to teach you how life gonna be when you get older. Yeah. Cause it's not gonna be easy. I pay your own bills. Yeah. Got all your own your own kids. All that money you gotta spend. Ooh. Ooh. I want kids, but I ain't I ain't ready to be yeah. grown yet. Yeah, I ain't ready to be grown yet either. I said a lot, but you know I be saying that cause I, you be mad at the time. You know you know how you is when you yeah. get mad. We don't make that right. That don't, that don't mean I'm right, but right. yeah, I do I do that a little bit. It's, yeah, I feel like saw the way you talk to your parents and. As it says in the word, you have to honor your father and mother. That's what the Lord says. So you're supposed to do that. You know, there's are, there are many times where we don't honor our father and mother. And the only time we do that is when we're disobedient. Like, we're disobedient towards them. But, yeah, like other people, too. Like, that's not honoring them because, you know, 
that's your mom you know that's your dad like these are people that these are people that take care of you you know what i'm saying like when people look at you they see your mom and your dad they look at the people who raised you so it's very important to you know honor your mom and your dad so that's why you know you try to stay away from the disobedient side and stay obedient you know yeah. but yeah yeah, my car just did something so sweet that y'all don't even know about. <laughs> she, my my own trash can got sprayed, and she just cleaned it out and put the bag in with no problem. I ain't asked her to do it. She seen that it was like that, and she knew it was mine, Aww. and she did it regardless. This is why you respect your people because <laughs> some things they gonna blow you, but they're good at heart. They are. Well, mine, mine is personal. The next one is working. Ooh, okay, so you know, y'all know me. I ain't currently gonna have a job right now because Ben is taking up all my time. Can't wait on that topic. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to Simone because she has a job and she's on Ben. But mm. I personally don't have a job. Have it applied because it should be worthless to you know get a job for for me, you know, my mm. experience. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to Simone. With that, I have put in a lot of applications, and a <laughs> lot of applications, and. I'm gonna just say, if you're trying to get a job, don't be so dependent on one job. Like you got yeah. like trying to get there, you got to put in a bunch, cause it, you don't know how long it's gonna take them to call you and stuff like that. And I be blowing up their phone. Me personally, I blow up their phone. <laughs> I blow up people with their phone so much. I know they tired of me. <laughs> but I post be trying um working there next week, and I'm gonna see how that go. But you know, with my with Van, I don't really, you know, minimum wage. So it's like, well, you're not really getting a lot of money, but it is something to do so you can yeah. have experience. When you want to apply for certain more jobs and then the longer you work there, you can become the manager, you know, general manager right. and all that. It's it's pros and cons to having a job, but it depends on your schedule. But mm -hmm. I, love, I personally, you will love having your own money because sometimes you get tired of asking people for stuff. Because you know, and especially your parents, because you know they're not going to say no, but I know they be wanting to sometimes be like, yeah. oh, I really don't like this. This is my last five, but she hungry. It's my last $100, but <laughs> she got to get her stuff paid. Yeah. So, you just be, you know, I ain't going to say you need a job to make it easy on them. I'm not trying to make nobody feel like they have to get a job right. to help their parents out. Because that is their job to take care of you yeah. until you get at least 18. You should get a job. I think y'all should get a job. Yeah. You'll love it. Certain places. Certain yes. places. Certain places. Certain places. Yeah, because, ooh, they kind of ghetto. Because <laughs> I don't know how they do it, boy. Cause some people, some people be so mean to these workers. Yeah, and they don't get paid enough for somebody to be throwing drinks at them, cussing them out at the window, yeah. and doing all that. I, I don't person, I couldn't do it. And you know, never cuss out the person that's making your food. Yeah, they, you don't know how evil people can be. They might spend your food. People be don't do it. You better off just going to another place. Don't don't blow them, cause they already be having a long day. They be tired, even though they has nothing to do with you. Cause yeah. they, they are getting paid from this, but it's like respect, like. Like with, like with school, like, don't litter because, you know, the janitors got to clean that up. And right. they don't supposed to clean up after you. They're supposed to pick up, like, normal stuff, like sweeping the floor because yeah. everybody walks on the floor. But, like, having to clean up your, like, your cups and stuff off the floor, it's just, yeah. you know, it's not it. I don't. Mm -mm. That's nasty. Yeah, I'm so ready to get to this topic. Okay, the next topic is being a flag girl and being. So, you know, we both are flag girls, you know. <laughs> I am an upperclassman and the captain. Whoa! And Simone is a what? Freshman. 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 Freshman, y'all. I'm a freshman. <laughs> so, you know, being an upperclassman, you know, slash captain, I mean, being a flag girl band is really fun. But my thing is, I don't love flag the way I love dance. So, I like flag. Flag is like a, you know, activity that I love doing. And when I pick up that flag, I'm going to dominate every time. So, she, she is. So, you know, I'm going to do what I do. But I just, I really do like doing flag, you know. It's not something that I want to do, like, in college. I'd rather do dance in college. But if I do be on the flag team, I would love to be on Alabama AAMU. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, because those are my favorite flags. But, yeah, like, being a flag girl band is very fun. The band experience is very fun, especially our band. Like, it's a, yes. it's a, it's a family band. Like, yes. it really is. Like, and I have cousins in band, so, you know, it's already, like, family type, family oriented. So, yeah, that's how it is for me, you know, as an upperclassman in a cabinet. And I ain't gonna lie, sometimes being a cabinet is it's really not easy as it seems because you have to deal with attitudes. Sometimes y'all just gotta deal with her attitude. True, you know, true, it's, true, true, it's true. Just, it's just crazy, but you know, I them girls know that you know every time we leave the bedroom, I love them. You know, I don't want nothing to happen to them, even though sometimes they be getting on my nerve. <laughs> but um, it's all right, it's all right. Cause I yeah. mean, I enjoy this position. You know, I enjoy doing what I do, and I love helping people. So you know. Yeah, That's I the main think. reason. So I'm and switching with, to Simone. 
with me i'm a, I'm a freshman um. when i joined i was so happy y'all like y'all don't understand like ivana could tell you i was texting everybody else yeah. you know, we was trying we was trying i was so happy and then when i made a team oh y'all that was my first boy i ever did this is my first sport i ever did anything else i managed but i never played a sport right so it was it was and then this one is kind of more difficult it's it's difficult as some of y'all think it is kind of hard yeah. I, you know you have to get used to what's the word that you be talking about like when we be running the bleachers and stuff like that like endurance yeah is that yeah because you gotta we be running across the you gotta have this big pole in your hand something you're not used to you have to also learn how to yeah <laughs> oh you know i'll be taking off <laughs> yes yeah, when i get to my spot <laughs> and, you be running. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's time to turn up. Yeah, yeah, I, I ain't like y'all. It, it kind of fall. You know, I'm kind of big. I be tired when it be trying to be that size. But all I'm gonna say is, it, it, it is fun. I'm not gonna lie. It is. It is. It's very int it's interesting, actually. Because you get to be around these new group of girls. Yeah. And y'all got like a sister bond. And then the band, oh, they just so love They accept you for who you are. Yeah. Like, and they're just, they're funny. Like, we just, yeah. and we live. Like, and it's like, when or, win or lose, we. The we band always, is always lit. Yeah. Like, we just always lit. It don't matter what happened. And I feel like everybody on the team is, is sweet. We all got our attitudes. And yeah. It, so I'm, and I have as well. I have caught a lot of attitudes. I be getting fed up. You know, sometimes you be hot. You be bothered. You be like, oh, Lord Jesus. But, you know, you can't. It don't It don't make it right. I be yeah. sorry. I have to take my anger on you sometimes. But y'all know I can't. <laughs> I'm, try, I'm, I'm doing better. I'm trying. Yeah. And do the band. Hey. <laughs> yes. Or play, play an instrument or yeah. you know, it don't matter. Yeah. And don't we dance and flag like for college bands. Can't you do both? Like don't flag girls and dance girls the same. It's for certain schools like North Carolina and T they do flag dance. They it call it all comes in one. So, okay. Yeah, it depends on what school you're going to. I'm personally I don't think I'm gonna go to college for that. I'm just being honest with y'all. I might have another reason for going. Yeah. I wanna be a nerd. Okay. I should wanna be a nerd. Or a surgeon, but that's for me watching Grey's Anatomy. That's <laughs> probably just me because I'm watching, you know, the, the the show right now and it's hitting me. And yeah. But I wanna do something I'm having fun with. I don't wanna just do something because I know I'm good at it. I actually wanna have fun. Yeah. With with what I'm doing. Cause it, it can get boring so quick doing the same thing over and over yeah. and over. So yeah. I mean, I love it being a freshman. It's a little stressful. We gotta learn a lot, but you know we get help because you got upperclassmen. We got three upperclassmen. Just three, y'all. The rest of the team is it's freshmen. freshmen, and I believe it's like 10, 11, 11, 10. Yeah, it's eleven or something. It, it started off as fifteen, then it went to twelve. Now it's eleven. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> mm -mm. Don't give up. They also come. With <laughs> 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 Dang, we just made it seem like they just be quitting. No, y'all. Well, don't give up. Just don't give up. <laughs> Times get hard, y'all. But do not give up. Because you're going you gonna to hate that you did that. Because it gets so much better yeah. afterwards. That first band camp, y'all, I swear. I could have cried. It was the run for me. I, I don't be running that much. We had to do the three across the track. I could have mm -hmm. cried. And everybody, like, come on, small and crying. And my man was right there. He was looking at me like, dang, he's even running loud. <laughs> I was embarrassed, y'all. So that's why I keep trying to get me fast. Like, that's why I be doing the thing at practice because I'm trying to, you know, get there. I know he was ashamed. Like, dang, she can't even do half of the trap. We just got out here. And I be already high, sweating, feeble. Like, it's just, I, I be stressed out. Oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, you wear like your man. <laughs> yeah, y'all be embarrassed. Then the way I be running, I be like, okay, is this running too too sloppy or too cute? Like, I be, <laughs> that's exactly how you run. <laughs> yes, I be. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I look cute while running. That's my problem. Ooh. Yeah, I swear. Mm. It's something, it's something, it's something. Mm. I, be, I be trying, y'all. I be trying. It is fun, by the way. It is. It, it is. It. it was hard at first, but I love it. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I, I agree. Now, the next topic we got is knowing how to take criticism. It's one thing to be rude, and then it's another thing to give criticism. I feel like criticism when you tell somebody what they're doing wrong, telling them to fix it. But like being rude, just being nasty, like you just you talking out of something that you going through, like you bringing all your problems on me. You know what I'm saying? So, oh my gosh, Simone, you better not. But <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it's just like yeah. you know. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you know. Somebody be telling me I'm doing something wrong. I get so mad because you know I be wanting to do everything right, but I be asking God, you know. God, you know, I know I be wrong sometimes. Like, I'm not perfect like you. I'm not, you know, I'm not as righteous as you, Lord. So I'm not gonna get everything right. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't be right all the time. Sometimes I'm gonna mm -hmm. be wrong. There's something. That, there's something that I need to fix. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm good at this, but I probably need to work on this even more because you know, maybe my leg ain't straight enough. You know, like 
you just have certain things that you need to work on. And so when somebody tell you that, it's not that they're trying to say, oh, no, you don't got it. Or you don't got this or you don't got that. It's just that they want you to be even better. Like, they mm -hmm. know that you can be even better than how you look now. Because, I mean, you look good, but you can be even greater. So, you know, that's what it is with me. So with that, criticism. I can take criticism to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. It depends. Like, it's ways to talk to people. Yeah. That's I say that. But it, you have to also be the type to listen. Because you can't be one of the people that be out there telling everybody else what they doing wrong. And then when somebody tries to tell you something like that, you just be like, like you can't you can't do that. And I and I, sometimes I do do that, but mm -hmm. I be like, I can't, I keep using the same excuse. I be fed up, y'all. Yeah. And, I, and it's not right, but that's just, that just how it be sometimes. Because it, it's in the moment. It be, it's just be in the moment. Yeah. But you got to be able to take criticism. Because in, in the end, it going to help out. Like, yeah. It's like with the flag. Like, if our coach or one of the um, captains, they telling us something, we might have a lot of little attitudes in and there because we be kind of like, Lord, like, what can, what can we do? Like, what are we doing wrong? But, you know, if there was a recorder and show us, like, what we doing, we could we could agree with them. We just try. We just don't be wanting to, but yeah. we could agree with them because we be knowing low-key it be looking a little sloppy. And even when you're tired, you got to push through. You just got to keep, you got to keep trying. And don't be so rude to them, because they already be having a bad day. Okay. They go through a lot. Like, with us, I know they be, I know they be fed up with us, because when we do something wrong, they also get in trouble. So, we have to try to make sure that, you know, we're being considerate of everybody's feelings. Right. Like, of everyone. Like, well, let me, let me try my best. And sometimes, people like to say your best ain't enough, but I don't, I, I don't really kind of agree with that. I feel like if I'm doing my best, that's. But you can always give more. Yeah. You can always give more. Because if you're doing good this time, do better the next time. Yeah. After that, do great. Yeah. Then you just, you just, it just keep going. Like, you can really just keep trying. You might be a little tired, but that's the whole point. That means doing something right. Right. Just keep if going. If you do not leave that practice sweating, you ain't got no dirt on you, you ain't did nothing. 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 What's that? Crack you ain't got a little, little blood scratch on your uh, arm, you, you ain't, ain't did nothing. nothing. I'm <laughs> yeah, telling you, not if you still got that lip gloss on from when you came here, <laughs> I need a little scratch. I keep applying, though, because I, I can't have child lip. Oh. <laughs> y'all oh let's get this ain't even a topic but Ivana comes to practice every day with her looks looking the same the way they do now they look like that at every practice <laughs> like every practice i never seen her lips like Man. messed up or nothing like that like with nothing on it but like she always she always got her lips on point and I'll be trying, y'all. I'll be trying to do what she's doing. But, you know, my lips got small. I'll be getting it, y'all. Nigga, I ain't got nothing to do with My lips is not big. No, y'all. I had put lip liner on. And where the lip liner at? <laughs> <laughs> was it lip liner or you was it? Put, I don't think you put enough on. It must be one lip liner, y'all. Because mine don't look like that. Y'all look at us and look at mine. This glossy and that's just cute. Now, with the next one. Ooh. Budgeting and couponing. That's all you, Simone. Now, with the budgeting and couponing, I'm going to help y'all out. There's this, um, Rocky Lucky 10. 10. Rocky yeah, y'all. Y'all can use this. But, um, yeah. It's a good coupon app. Like, for example, with coupons in general, like, y'all know, like, when y'all get, um, coupons in the mail and stuff like that, actually look at them because I promise you it's so important. Like, you can save so much money. Like, and I'm, I'm the cheapest person you could ever meet. If they, if they be like, I'm like, okay, do I really, if it, your, like, thing add up to, like, 1201, I'm like, you got a penny? Or do I really have to do this? Do I have to split this dollar? Because I really don't want to do that. But with coupon, like, you know, keep them, save them up, you know. You can also get stuff off. So it's like coming in with 20, you was you just came to get a little couple stuff. Oh, time, you ain't even had to spend that much money. So I, I like it. I, I love y'all. Especially with McDonald's. I know I'm there every day. Fair praise free. Coupon. Fries free. Get free. Them. Matter of fact, I wish I could show y'all my book bag is over there. Get but I have them. I have a lot of coupons and I love them. No. Burger King. KFC. <laughs> no, no McDonald's. Sense. Starbucks. And that ain't even down here. I got stuff for five guys. I don't even think we got that. Do we? We do. I thought it was in Florence. I don't know. I don't know, y'all, but I have a bunch of coupons. I'm talking about deodorant. Tired game, as you should, as you and I don't feel shame. Don't feel shame for using coupons because oh, ain't, 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 ain't nothing wrong with not wanting you know spend all your money. That just that just you know you got stuff to do. We right. have stuff to do. We have bills to pay. We have a lot of stuff going on, and people be so ashamed with using coupons. I don't know why that. I don't know why people like that these days, but I personally ain't got no problem with. That don't mean you broke. Right. You just trying to save money. Okay. So I. Money don't go on trees. <laughs> Cause what that mean? I've been spending my little. <laughs> Yeah.
<laughs> not judge oh him coming home. Okay, y'all. So just kinda go back to what we were saying about like how how Simone don't judge me and I don't judge Simone, you know, even though you know I live for Jesus and like she doesn't live for Jesus, like we don't judge each other or anything. At times we can be hypocritical and like judge others for like what they do, and then we gotta take a step back and realize that hey, we used to do this too. Or yeah, I used to be like them too. Like we have to really take a step back and look at what we do because the same thing that we don't like that people do, we used to do the same, same things same. or we still do the same thing. So just like uh, what we were saying last time, I don't judge Simone just because she don't follow God or I know she's still believing him, you know, mm -hmm. but even though, you know, she's not following God or anything, I don't judge her for that. And I, I don't judge nobody for not following God. I mean, you, like I say, you come when you come, but yeah, we just, don't judge each other. And yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a judging type. I accept everybody for who they are. Actually, I love my people differences. Like us being different make us closer. Yes. Because it's so much stuff. Like, oh, you do this. I never tried that before. Like, oh, you did that. I never did that before. You like being. I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with you being around somebody that you that y'all know y'all just alike. But it's, it made the relationship interesting. It made the friendship interesting. Like it just make everything interesting. Cause you know you never done that before. You got somebody who has like. With the YouTube thing, like, I have done that, like, when I was younger, but I haven't done it now. And that's because I let people, you know, say things like, oh, why are you trying to do YouTube? Because you're trying to do it for the views. You're yeah. not going to get views. You're not going to get, it's not going to blow up. And it's not going to do this. It's not going to do that. Okay. I loved it, y'all. I, I, I can't lie. I love it. Like, I love, like, like, what we're doing now. I, I love <laughs> it. Like, y'all don't know in my head. I might not say it out loud, but I, I love, well, I'm saying it now, but I love it. It's, it's very... It's just there, and like being hypocritical, just just don't be a hypocrite. Right. Like like stuff that we used to do, like like with younger kids, like freshmen and stuff like that. Not trying to say like I'm just so old, I'm only a sophomore, but with um <laughs> freshmen, like how they come there and they be like a little loud and jittery at first. I was the same way when I first got yeah. on, was in high school, cause it's so it's so much it's so different. You're not in middle school no more. They kind of give you like some type of lean way, and they real kind of lenient. You get more freedom. freedom. Yeah, you get more freedom over there. I, I would say that, you know, in a, in a way. So, yeah, just don't just don't be a hypocrite and be kind to others. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can say on that. <laughs> Being fast. I'm not going to sit here. This kind of go back to, like, the last thing we were just talking about. And I was, like, judging and not being hypocritical. So, you know, me, I used to be very, very fast. Like, very, very fast. I try to, you know, same thing like Simone was telling me on the phone the other day. Like, I used to try to be grown on, you know, musically before it was called TikTok. Mm -hmm. You know, twerking doing all that crazy stuff yeah um, sticking out your tongue doing just doing the most ghetto and provocative yes, things disgusting and you got then you know you got like older men looking at you and you but you want them to look at you and stuff like that and that's just, the problem that's, that's terrible oh, yeah, it, just that's made, just it just made me feel so bad because yeah. y'all it was me like mm -hmm. i would be making like 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 little like slick things like wearing teen shorts doing yeah. tiktok I mean, there's nothing, nothing but it, you know, it's it's a certain length. Like, you don't have yeah. to show too much. And I used to do these TikToks where I used to turn around, like, sitting on the second trying to pump my butt out and stuff like that. It is so not cute. You used to do the same exact thing. And I'm not even going to sit here and lie. Like, I remember this time, I was like, I was fast. I was fast with this boy. But this is like fifth grade. And I'm like, that's when my first kiss was, like, fifth grade. But it really wasn't the first kiss. Because sixth. I didn't, huh? Mine was sixth. Huh? Sixth grade, like that's not gonna. Oh, be girl, I thought you yeah. said. I thought oh no, 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 no! I was <laughs> like, girl, what? Oh, no, y'all would never. But, Captions, please. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but yeah, like mine was like in fifth grade, but it wasn't true because we didn't love each other. We were just kids being kids, and so yeah. But I was just being You're fast. Make mistakes. Yeah. And that's a part of life, you know. Just be. I was also to a higher pure. standard. Yeah, like want more for yourself and don't settle for less. You know, like please don't be friends with benefits because that don't work. Ah! Y'all, it's, it's not worth it. I, I promise y'all. People will say anything to get what they want. Yeah. They will, and it's and men will say anything they want. The anything that they know will make you happy. They gonna do it. And they gonna they always just it be slick stuff that we don't catch. And sometimes we do, but we just be wanting to please others. And that's yeah. also a problem. But like I said, hold yourself to a higher standard.